scroll through your phone on the daily, flooded by messages and photos. But do you ever stop to think about how much time you actually spend online or how it is directly affecting your mental health? Elizabeth Anderson in an article explains, people are spending twice as much time online compared to 10 years ago, fueled by the increasing use of tablets and smartphones. The biggest increase has been among young adults, with time spent online almost tripling from 10 hours and 24 minutes each week in 2005 to 27 hours and 36 minutes in 2014. Imagine how much that time has probably tripled since then. This increase in social media does directly affect your mental health, whether that is for good or for bad. Today, I would like to talk to you all about how the excessive use of social media can negatively affect your mental health. In young teens, focusing on likes can have an impact. When you are young, especially the early teen years, you are most vulnerable and impressionable. I remember being an young and feeling like I didn't belong. I was about 11 when I was given my first ever social media account and that immediate need for validation and recognition through likes was there whether I would have liked to admit it or not. If a teen is given social media at a young age, the immediate need for validation through likes will start at a young age. Katie Hurley explains in her article, the need to gain likes on social media can cause teens to make choices that they otherwise would not make including altering their appearance, engaging in negative behaviors, and accepting risky social media challenges. The early exposure to validation through popularity and likes can affect anyone mentally, but that along with the bullies one can find on social media, if you spend frequent time on social media, it can really take a toll on one's mental health. Cyberbullying is a huge negative aspect to social media and its effect on mental health. Cyberbullying is when the action of bully bullying takes place through a screen or on any social media platform. The more time on spe spent on social media, the, more, the higher chance you have of accidentally running into some cyberbullying or getting exposed to some cyberbullying. And it, cyberbullying can take any form, such as a negative comment on a photo, some hurtful personal messages, or in group chats, etc. In the same article written by Katie Hurley, she says, teen girls in particular are at risk of cyberbullying through the use of social media. But teen boys are not immune. Cyberbullying is associated with depression, anxiety, and an elevated risk of suicidal thoughts. The more time spent on social media can not only lead to some accidental exposure to cyberbullying, but it also can lead to an unhealthy comparison. Making comparisons is a huge factor of social media. When you have a social media account, say Facebook for example, you are automatically putting your best foot forward, the best version of yourself out there for people to see. When you see that maybe someone else has it better than you, it might lead you to feel sad about your circumstances. You might also be able to see that maybe some of your friends went and hung out without you or had a better time at an event than you did. Social media tends to always put the unrealistic best of what people have to offer on the platform. Constant exposure to unrealistic model photos and lifestyles can be extremely unhealthy. Katie Hurley states, though many teens know that their peers only put their highlight reels on social media, it's very difficult to avoid making comparisons. Everything from physical appearance to circumstances to perceived successes and failures is under a microscope in social media. Now, constant exposure to all so aspects of social media does directly affect your mental health. On the Health Prep website, they explain, a similar study done in 2016 involving 1,700 1, people concluded individuals who were at the highest risk for depression and anxiety were those who used social media platforms the most. The reasoning connected to the increased chances of cyber, this reasoning was connected to the increased chances of cyberbullying, having a distorted view of others' lives, and feeling like social media was a waste of their time. The more time you spend on social media, um, the more it can directly affect your mental health and therefore your life and the way you live your life. Since you, do not, since you now see the powerful effects social media can have on your mental health, what will you do about it? I'd advise you all to spend a little less time on social media. If you have a child, maybe think twice before giving them a social media account or a phone even, or just wait until they're a little bit older. I encourage you all to see the positive effect it will have on your mental health when you choose to spend little to no time on social media. Thank you.